job interview was with Gary Catler, who ran LIT. He said, you the kid for the job? I said, yeah. He said, I'll pay you $150 a week. Um, after three months, I'm going to be full hospitalization. He said, don't call in sick unless you're really sick. Do you want the job? I said, yes. He said, you're ready to start now. I went with him, put on a coat, and started that day. Uh, I saw a fight. I remember that. It was very, very good. Being completely lost. Just not knowing anything. Where to go? Uh, there was a lot of food around. And I actually got to go home early, and I was very happy because I was very tired. <laughs> Confused. <laughs> This one guy who was just an absolute jag off guy. Oh, he's actually dead now. I feel bad about even saying that. But he was real mean to me. But then we became we became a lot closer friends. But he was real mean to me, and I remember thinking, what a rude place this is. Uh, being a little scared. No, I don't remember anything because I was so scared. I was scared shitless. The hot runners that used to be down here. I was really nervous. And family down here so it was really nice like seeing everybody that I usually don't see. Mm -hmm. um, busy. A little scary but mm -hmm. fun. I loved it. Showing up wondering what I was doing in 1981 as a runner with seven other people all trying to avoid the job. I remember most of the first day of the job. I guess just all the people, all the yelling, all the chaos. It's really loud. Well, That's what I remember. Yeah, really it was right. at the Board of Trade. Yeah, it was really loud. All the guys asking my brother who the new girl was. <laughs> Getting yelled at. How busy and fast it seemed and chaotic. On, I was wearing a uh, coat and a tie. It was in 1989 in the old FX. Uh, I started as a runner with Prudential Securities, and everybody I met uh, was uh, shortly um, busted by the FBI in the trading scandal. But I wanted to work here. I came here as a visitor. How many people there were and how loud it was? Oh my God. The garbage and the people hooting and hollering and yelling at you. Colors and the noise. Ah, I was just a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit scared. Okay, so. Did you think that Scary, crazy, like people were speaking in Japanese. So overwhelmed. Being overwhelmed by the noise it's and over the top. excitement. It's all over. And it is all over. Someone got sharked or something like that. I got pants by Jim Garvey um, and Gib Ishu about 15 years ago. I touched, I touched my pants, I got them down. The funniest moment I ever saw out here was when everybody was applauding the girl on the catwalk and she didn't know why it was because everyone could see up her skirt. <laughs> the funniest thing. Watching Mike Tracy get mad could be the funniest thing I have ever seen in my life. I fell down the stairs, right over here, on my butt, and it was not, everyone laughed, everyone saw it, and I, it wasn't funny at first, but I definitely Pat Lincoln Hall throwing a shrimp, a, fry, a french fried shrimp about 60 feet and hitting Tula in the eye. <laughs> Tim Knuckles wearing his uh, wife's underpants, mooning people. <laughs> Johnny Simpson uh, dropping somebody's pants. <laughs> that was funny, that was funny. He got, he got fired bad yeah, for that. Fine. The funniest moment I ever saw on the floor was um, probably on um, the guys in the back ones uh, doing all the pies in the face. That was had to be the funniest. Uh, probably one of the eating contests when somebody ate so many things. <laughs> Did you want to ask him who's favorite And the de-wigging de of Wayne. If he won't fall out of the pit early on in the years, he falls down, and he's falls out, he's out of the going, Phil. I gotta think, one of the funniest moments was a second ago with the pony keg in the back. Yeah, that was pretty good. There's a... This guy right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just got out with that. Today was uh, somebody betting they could eat 20 cheeseburgers in, in, <laughs> in, I think it was 90 seconds or something crazy, and getting about 18 of them in, and then barfing. Somebody yelling at another broker and spit came out of his mouth and hit the other guy in his mouth. Because you don't go when everyone in the pit put a whipped cream pie on Huff's face. <laughs> I was not here that day. And then he smelled like old milk for the rest of the day. 
couple guys mooning us in the back month in the Euros. <laughs> Funniest thing I ever seen was when a clerk on the other side of the trading floor, I was standing about four steps up, he was on his double headset with someone and the, uh, the customer was banging his phone in his ears and he passed out from the ringing phone onto the floor. No, it was a lot of really funny moments, like tears to my eyes, crying laughter. I, I love this place. crash in 87 when it felt like you were playing crack the whip on a cement parking lot it was just a pair of shorts on and you were the last guy on the chain mm -hmm. and you wondered if you know you were going to let go of the chain and mm -hmm. scrape the hell out of your body mm -hmm. was putting in four 18 lot one year strips in the uh, back month your dollars on october 20th 87 um, I filled the customer on an order that wasn't filled, and within five minutes we were down $75,000. I think when the FBI sting years ago, that I think that really unnerved a lot of people. Uh, I had an account that uh, that was Craig Smith's that uh, sold a 200 lot in the bonds on Volker's retirement, and I wasn't sure what handle I sold. Uh, unemployment, 1993, I had a 2500 lot that I wasn't sure that was filled, and the 25 came back. Unemployment report in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, when it was so crazy, the pit was wa waving and guys would sweat through the guys next to them clothes. That's how crazy it was. Okay. That was. That was scary because the markets moved so violently. I think it was watching plane crash into the Twin Towers on the, on the big screen. Yeah. September 11th when we saw it on the big screen. 9-11. Yeah. 9-11. Remember. 9-11. 9-11. 9-11. Yes. Uh, 9-11. 9-11. 9-11. 9-11. 9-11. 9-11. Okay. Definitely 9-11. That was definitely nuts. Uh, a video of me going into the pit after Paul Moses. <laughs> I brought John Malkovich down, I brought Frankie Avalon down, George Hamilton down, some guys like that. Um, Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Definitely Vince Vaughn. Very good. Who Ernie Banks. Ernie Banks. President Bush Sr. came down. Uh, the first George Bush. Who? First George Bush saw my GOP badge, loved it, came over, and kind of gave me a, a little hug. The coolest thing that ever happened. Uh, probably George Bush. George, George Bush. George Bush. I met George Bush. I met Colin Powell. Um, I remember Bush coming down here. That's what I remember. Bush, Reagan, everybody came to here. Uh, All the Medal of Honor winners that were down here last year, down in the S&P trading pit, and there were about probably 15 of them. Mm -hmm. They were all guys who were about probably 70 to 85 years old. Mm -hmm. They were the most impressive guys I ever met. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Never forget that. It was unbelievable. My idol. I remember Michael Jordan did his very nice suits because he walked yes. right next to me on the floor. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan ever come down here? I think he did. Probably him. Yeah. Oh, probably oh, yeah. Michael Jordan. Maybe Roger Staubach. Chris Farley. Chris Farley. Uh, Joseph Kennedy, only because I got the tour taking him around. Oh. Huh? Ben Affleck is fine, but Mikhail Gorbachev is mine. I saw Mikhail Gorbachev and I shook his wife's hand and she actually came up and was uh, mentioning a button on my jacket. I had, um, I forget what I had, but she came up and shook my hand. But she's really nice. So, P, 150.